Hey guys, I'm Avish and this is the part 3 of the Mern stack tutorial. In the previous session, we focused on MongoDB prerequisites and we have created a free cluster in the MongoDB cloud instead of installing the MongoDB locally. In this session, we will focus on creating MongoDB cluster connection and we will create a new database and new user collection in the newly created cluster. Please refer to the previous sessions before proceeding further. In the previous session, we have created the cluster under Kudvenkata organization. Let's now click connect the cluster and you will be presented with multiple options. The first option is to add the current IP address so that the current IP address will be whitelisted for the cluster. And then you have options to connect to your application, access your data through different tools such as Compass, Shell, MongoDB for VS Code and Atlas SQL. We will be looking into each of these things in detail. For now, we will click on the drivers and connect the cluster. Note that we have the driver. We are going to use Node.js for the MERN stack and we are going to install this driver in our Express.js application. And then we are going to add this connection string with the username and password to connect to this cluster. Now let's say click on done and go back to this cluster. Once we choose the settings, the cluster is now ready. Let's click on the database and notice that we can choose the collection by clicking on browse collection. Let me click on the browse collections and we are going to get the sample databases that has been created by MongoDB. Let's now create a database and call the database name as I can choose it as MERN or e-commerce application or anything like that. So I would say e-com. So we are going to create an e-commerce database and create the Node.js and Express.js application and routes on this e-commerce database. So let me create one collection name called users. Let's choose the additional preferences. Let's not select any of this capped collection, time series collection or clustered index collection. We'll be modifying this collection later. For now, we choose the database name as ecom, collection name as users and click on create. Notice that we have an ecom collection with the users as the database. We can now insert a new document under this ecom users collections. We now have an option to insert a document. We can insert the document using the Express.js routes and the server or we can create a document over here and proceed further. For now, let's create one sample document. Look at that. We have an option to choose different fields and properties in different views. We have a JSON view and the properties view. So let me choose the JSON view to make it simple and press enter here. We do have an ID by default. So I'm going to create another property within the brackets called email. Let me create the property value as avish.msd at the rate gmail.com. I would say after the email, I'll create a couple of more properties such as first name. Let me add an underscore after the email for the first name. And then the first name is going to be avish and the last name is going to be MSD. We can add password and other properties, but I would like to control the password and other characters of this document from the Express.js application. That's because we want to encrypt the password and store it. And when we are inserting the document with the password, we tend to insert that password in a plain text. So let me avoid that and notice that we have the email first name and last name as the properties without any errors. Now, if I leave this document with some syntax, it automatically prompts you that insert is not permitted when the document is having errors. That is because we have added an extra comma at the end of last name. So let me remove this and insert this document. Look at that. We now have a document. And we can also query this document. In the next session, we'll create multiple documents under this user stable collection. And we will try to apply filters to that collection. Along with the filters, we'll also explore other properties of the cluster. Till then, thank you for listening and have a great day.